For those unfamiliar with the franchise, it would be easy to dismiss WarioWare Smooth Moves as just another minigame compilation for the Wii, a system which has hosted dozens of said compilations over the last few years. But to carelessly brush this game aside like that would be doing it a tragic disservice. You see, there are minigame compilations, and then there's WarioWare. Established on the Game Boy Advance in 2003, WarioWare is an irreverent deconstruction of conventional gaming norms. It strips the medium of modern excess and boils it down to hyper-concentrated blasts of video gaming in which objectives are simple, instructions are literal, and time is very limited. They're called micro-games, and while the specifics of each are varied, they're essentially built around two basic premises. In virtually every game, you have to either do something or prevent something from happening, and you've got about three seconds to do it. The micro-games come in rapid succession, introduced by instructions rarely comprised of more than one-word verbs. You're told to do things like run, jump, and collect, but it's up to you to figure out what actions those instructions translate to in the context of the micro-game, and then do it. A two-fold objective in which every millisecond counts. What's intriguing about WarioWare is that, although it can seem tremendously complicated, it actually uncomplicates gaming substituting multiplex gameplay mechanics with the kind of simple commands people teach their dogs. Bark, roll over, these things should be a breeze, but under the duress of a three second clock, they seem much more difficult than they really are. It's fascinating how WarioWare extracts gaming's most fundamental elements and puts them center stage. Perhaps even more fascinating is how often those fundamental elements, actions you perform countless times in longer games, get the best of you in WarioWare. Of course, to be fair, there aren't many games in which picking your nose is an objective, or shaving a mustache, or drinking a glass of juice, but that's exactly the kind of random chaos that defines WarioWare's microgames, which are, at least thematically, enthusiastic exclamations of utter gaming anarchy. <laughs> The single-player mode is divided into chapters based on specific characters. You'll start with Wario, for example, and complete his set of microgames before moving on to the next character's chapter. These divisions may seem arbitrary at first, but the chapters split up the microgames nicely, lumping similar ones together for easier chapters and throwing everything including the kitchen sink at you during more difficult sets. Certain chapters also introduce new ways to hold the Wii Remote, which is perhaps the most important addition in Smooth Moves. Just as past WarioWare games exploited the capabilities of the platforms upon which they released, Smooth Moves follows suit by predicating each microgame on a unique way to hold the Wii Remote. You might have to hold it like a remote control, or an umbrella, or even a pencil to play each individual microgame, and the game quickly shows you which way to hold the remote before each game begins. Some of these positions aren't really necessary to play the games, but you won't be able to complete a lot of them unless you hold the remote the right way. Smooth Moves really capitalizes on the Wii's motion capabilities. For the most part, the controls work exactly like they should, and the constant changing of your grip on the Wii Remote keeps the games feeling fresh throughout the experience. Of course, as much fun as you can have playing WarioWare alone, this game is really all about the multiplayer. To this day, any time I have friends over to play Wii, Smooth Moves is still one of the top requests, and for good reason. Many of the game's multiplayer modes can be played with just one Wii remote, and given the absurdly fast-paced nature of the microgames, Smooth Moves transforms the living room into a scene every bit as hectic as what's happening on screen. Wii remotes are flying through the air, being tossed from player to player, and the volume of our friendly jeers is exceeded only by that of our laughter. Smooth Moves is an outstanding multiplayer game, but that said, the available multiplayer modes definitely seem a bit thin. There are four ways to play through the microgames together, and a few complete mini-games thrown in as well, such as an excellent game of darts, which is a personal favorite among my friends. 
But still, for a game this fun to play with your pals, there really should be more multiplayer options. WarioWare is a game you have to see in action to appreciate. The graphics are occasionally no better than something a five-year-old could doodle in Microsoft Paint, and the micro-games don't look like much, but few games can turn a living room into such a chaotic frenzy. Indeed, if you're looking for a game that boils gaming down to its very essence, or simply want to shred a calculator with a cheese grater, you just gotta try WarioWare Smooth Moves.